you. It's really just a matter of focusing on the coefficient matrix. So we're looking at this guy here. We have 2, 1, 3, negative 1, 4, 2, 3, 2, 1. All right, so that's our that's our matrix that we're going to call A, our coefficient matrix A. What we want to do is write it in factor form. So one factor would be L and the other would be factor U. L representing lower triangular form and U representing upper triangular form. Okay, so what we're going to do is start off with our row reduction techniques. The only condition is that you're not allowed to row swap. All right, so I'm going to do a negative one half R1 plus R2 and a negative three halves R1 plus R3. So we're looking at zero, then that's going to be positive one. Oh, this should be green. Positive one half plus four. So four is eight halves, so nine halves. And then negative three halves plus four halves is going to be one half. Then zero. And we're going to have three halves plus four halves is seven halves. Negative nine halves plus two halves is negative seven halves. All right. So this is the process that gets us to the factor U. What we need to do is start building our factor L, which is going to be lower triangular. So we know that we're going to have zeros above the main diagonal. All right. So what we do is we take each of the entries that make up the first column and divide it by the pivot of that column. All right. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 divided by 2 is a half. 3 divided by 2 is 3 halves. It should actually correspond to the values that you use to row reduce to begin with. Right, so basically, I mean, if you were if you were to take the thing that you want to cancel out and divide it by the pivot entry, that that's actually what you would use to determine what you should be multiplying the row by in order to cause that cancellation in and of itself. So in the next one, even though the, you've got some funky fractions, I mean, you can use a calculator to support your work. I would be saying what's seven halves divided by nine halves. I mean, it's just keep change flip, but you could actually just do seven. Well, I'll do it in parentheses just to be safe. divided by 9 halves. And you get 7 ninths. All right? So that's what I'd have to multiply row 2 by in a negative fashion. In order to cause the cancellation that I'm looking for. So then you have to do negative 7 ninths times 1 half plus negative 7 halves. So that's, you know, maybe not fun. So negative 
there's a bit of a lag, as is usually the case. All right, forget the calculator. So negative 7 halves times 1 half is negative 7 eighteenths. Oh, where am I? Here. Oh. Yeah, here. So negative 7 eighteenths minus, I'm going to multiply that by 9, so minus 63 eighteenths. So negative 7 eighteenths minus 63 eighteenths is negative 70 eighteenths. So negative 70 eighteenths is negative 35 ninths, if I'm not too much mistaken. Right. Now in that second column, again we're multi we're dividing each entry by the pivot. Okay. So the pivot is the first non-zero entry in echelon form. Does not be reduced. So we've all, we already know that seven and a half divided by nine and a half gives you seven ninths. So <clears throat> that's the bottom number. Nine halves divided by nine halves is itself. So one. Oh, that doesn't Black is not interesting. Uh, red. And this would be seven ninths. And then in the last column, this number is its own pivot, so it would divide to equal one. So the A in root in echelon form becomes U because it's upper triangular and the corresponding lower triangular matrix would become L. Okay, and so L times U would be equal to A. Alright, so and, and actually on the exam if I do ask for LU I'm not going to ask you to use it to um, to solve an equation, solve an equation, solve um, a system. I'm just going to ask you to find the factorization uh, using LU. So uh, you would stop at this point anyway. So, yeah, so I'll just leave it there.